Hello class, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to solve problems involving mean and variance of discrete random variable. So first, first formula natin is yung e of x or the expected outcome or the mean is equal to the summation of x times p of x. Then yung pangalawang formula natin is yung variance which is equal to the summation of x squared times p of x minus the summation of x times p of x squared. So let's have example number one. Find the expected outcome when a die is rolled many times. So to find the expected outcome, ang una yung gagawin guys is list down yung muna ano ba yung mga possible outcomes when a die is rolled. Okay, so we have 6. Since 6 yung numbers ng ating ng isang die. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so these outcomes, ito na ngayon yung ating magiging random variable x. So next is kunin naman natin yung kanyang p of x or yung kanyang probability. So para makuha yung probability guys is bibilangin nyo lang ilang 1 ba meron tayo dun sa ating possible outcomes. So dito isa lang yung ating 1. Out of ilan, so we have 6. So we have 1 over 6 as probability. Okay? So since lahat naman ng numbers is tigi isa lang doon sa ating uh, possible outcomes, so yung probability nila is pare-parehas na 1 over 6 or 1 out of 6. Okay guys? So next is to get the expected outcome, gagamitin natin yung formula kung saan kailangan natin si x times p of x. So para makuha yan guys, Ang gagawin nyo lang is imumultiply natin si x doon sa kanyang corresponding p of x. So we have 1 times 1 over 6, that is 1 over 6. Then 2 times 1 over 6, we have 2 over 6. Then 3 times 1 over 6, this is 3 over 6. Then 4 times 1 over 6, we have 4 over 6. Then 5 times 1 over 6, this is 5 over 6. Then yung last, we have 6 times 1 over 6, that is 6 over 6. Okay? So after natin magawa yung column ng ating x times p of x, pwede na natin gamitin guys yung ating formula. Kung saan, ang expected outcome is equal kay summation ng ating x times p of x. Pag sinabing summation, ipagpa-plus lang lang ipagpa-plus lang natin lahat ng ating x times p of x. So dito i-add natin lahat 'yan. So that is 1. So since pare-parehas naman sila ng denominator, automatic 'yan na 6. Okay? So to get the the numerator, i-add lang 'yan, guys. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 we have 21. Okay, so pagka sinimplify natin yan, that is 3.5. So meaning, ang expected outcome when a die is rolled many times is 3.5. Nakuha guys? So next, let's have example number 2. So Jeremiah tosses an, an unbiased coin. So he receives 50 if a head appears and he pays 30 pesos if a tail appears so find the expected value and the variance of his gain okay so dito guys uh, we have two possible outcomes una is pagka nagtoss tayo ng coin pwede siyang maging head and or pwede rin naman maging tail okay Next is, kunin naman natin yung probability na lalabas yung ating uh, head. So, since uh, dalawa lang naman sila, so pareha silang may tag 1 half. Okay? So, based dun sa ating uh, problem, si Jeremiah is makaka-receive ng 50 pagka yung head ang lumabas. So, meaning, pag ito yung event na lumabas, magkaka-gain siya ng 50. 
Okay? Then kung tail naman yung event or yung ating outcome, si Jeremiah is magbabayad ng 30. So, let's say that is negative 30. Okay? Yung positive meaning gain. Then yung negative natin meaning loss. Okay? So, ngayon gawin na natin yung ating table. So, we have x. So, ano ba yung random variable natin dito? Ang random variable natin dito is yung gain and loss ni Jeremiah. So, which is 50 and negative 30. Okay? So, ngayon, ilan yung probability na mag-gain ng 50 si Jeremiah? So, we have 1 half. Since yun yung probability na lalabas yung head. And, na, and yung probability na maglulos siya ng 30 is... 1 half din. Okay? Yun yung probability ng ating tail. So, to get the expected outcome or the expected value, so, ang gagawin lang natin, multiply natin si x times p of x. So, dito we have 50 times 1 half, that is 25. Then, negative 30 times 1 half, that is negative 15. So, getting the summation of x times p of x, lalabas dito na yung ating expected value is equal to positive 10. Kuha ba guys? So, ibig sabihin, kung lalaruin ni Jeremiah yung ating coin, or yung magtatos siya ng coin, so, possible na mag-gain siya ng 10 pesos. Okay? So, next, ilan naman ngayon yung ating variance? Ilan daw yung variance nung kanyang gain? So, to get the variance, kailangan natin yung another column na x square times p of x. So, para makuha yung ating x square times p of x, ang gagawin nyo lang guys is, i-square nyo yung ating x. Okay, then i-multiply natin dun sa kanyang p of x. Okay. So, dito we have 50. So, 50 square that is 2,500 times 1 half that is 1,250. The next is negative 30 square that is positive 900 times 1 half we have 450. Okay? So, ngayon, i-add natin or kukunin nyo yung summation ni x square times p of x. So, pag kinuha niyo yung summation niyan, ang lalabas dyan is 1,700. Okay? So, after niyo makuha yung ating uh, summation of x squared times p of x, pwede na natin gamitin yung formula ng ating variance, which is equivalent to uh, the summation of x squared times p of x minus the the summation of x times p of x, then square. Okay? So, dito, ano ba yung summation of x square times p of x natin? So, that is 1,700. Minus the summation of x times p of x, yun yung ating 10. Then, i-square natin yun. Okay? So, simplify natin yan. We have 1,700 minus 10 square. This is 100. Then, ang variance natin is 1,700 minus 100 is 1,600. Ito yung variance ng gain ni Jeremiah. Okay? So, next, let's have another example. Number 3. So, Gabriel is planning to play an online game where it is possible for him to lose 2,000 pesos, then break even, or win 1,000 and win 5,000 pesos. So, find the expected outcome if he plays and will the ad be at his favor. So, the probability distribution for each outcome is given in the table below. So, ang outcome natin dito, we have four possible outcomes. Una, yung matatalo siya ng 2,000 pesos. So, that is negative 2,000. Followed by yung ating break-even. So, that is zero. Ibig sabihin, parang quits lang siya. 
Next is yung win 1,000. So, pwede siya mag-gain ng 1,000 or 5,000. So, sa table na to guys, uh, given na yung kanyang probabilities. Okay? So, meron na tayong X. At the same time, meron na tayong P of X, yung ating probability. So, to get the expected outcome, guys, ang gagawin nyo na lang is kukunin nyo yung product ng ating outcome. Let's say, yun yung ating X. Then, P of X. Okay, so multiply lang natin yan guys. So negative 2,000 times 0.30, we have negative 600. Okay? Next is 0 times 0.400, that is 0. Next is 1,000 times 0.20, that is 200. Then 5,000 times 0.10, that is 500. So, after natin makuha yung ating uh, x times p of x, pwede na natin makuha yung ating expected outcome, which is the summation of x times p of x. Okay, so ipagpa-plus lang natin yung ating uh, third row, yung pinaka-last row natin sa baba. So, negative 600 plus 0 plus 200 plus 500 is equal to 100 pesos. Okay, so meaning, so Gabriel is expected to win 100 pesos after repeatedly playing the game. So therefore, the odds are in his favor. Okay, so kung lalaro niyo yung game ng paulit-ulit, possible na magin siya guys ng 100 pesos. So this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo. So if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So thank you guys for watching. This is Prof D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!